Caden Lopez, and and Emma Patterson. We are your reporters for today. We hope you enjoyed our first village ra rally last Wednesday. Thank you to all who, all of the participants who were who represented their village in the trash challenge. It was so nice to hear all those students cheering for Pinocchio when they won the trash challenge. Remember to cheer for others when they succeed or win. Do not boo them. The de the staff was so excited to see the upgrade students sit with their buddies throughout the rally. A touch of understanding visited last Thursday. They had several people with disabilities share their stories to DC fourth graders and teach them how to appreciate others' differences and not judge them by how they may look or act. Book fair began today and will continue throughout fall festival. You may purchase books during lunch recess and after school. Do not forget to bring enough cash to add ta tax to your book. You may grab a book fair bookmark from the library and also wish list to write down your favorite books. Fall festival will be on October 12th from 5th from 5 to 8. There will be games and competition competitions and don't forget to cost don't forget the costume contest. We hope you to see you to see everybody there. Our last skate night was a big success. A big shout out to Mr. Barfield's class for having the most students attend. All of the students in Mr. Barfield's class who were there received a free ice cream. Hopefully we will see you at our next one on December 3rd. Miss Coot's class have been reading the three Billy Goats Gruff in class. The students were broken into groups and were able to act out the play. A lot of fun retelling the story. They were also learning about at objectives and doing some creative writing about scarecrows and pumpkins. Miss Peterson's class and Mr. Loder's class got to meet their little buddies for the first time. It was so excited or er, so sorry, so exciting for everyone to meet their new friends. Many of the bun buddies are in the same village too. Art docent happened in Miss Peterson's class third grade. The Mr. Tarbeau shared an interesting lesson showing pictures with feelings. Of course, or of course, we had a chance to create our own pieces of art. They came out so amazing. Second grade had their first market day and it was a big hit, of course. Who doesn't love market day in second grade? Look at what our upgrade students are creating on the playground. In music, fifth grade has been busy learning to play Moroccophone, Moro Moroccan folk song called Ram Sam Sam on the xylophones. This song is often sung at soccer games in Morocco, similar to how you may hear, we will, we will rock you in a, at an American sporting event. In Miss Marquez's class, or Miss Marquez's class voted on what to share for the DC News. They wanted to share some of their class song that they sing in each morning to start their day together.
hide and seek for star words mingled to spell our star word went and made pumpkin equations. Fifth grade played decimal Yahtzee to review the place value. It is challenging and fun to be able to play with our friends in groups. Tell me something good. This bus doesn't just take you where you need to go. It also cleans the air. The Go Ahead group, which is the largest bus rail, which is one of the largest bus rail operators in, New in England, just launched a bus that sucks up the pollution as it travels. The Blue Star prototype is the first bus in the UK that can clean this city with, or clean the city air. It is fitted with air filters that collects ultra fine pollution particles and spew out the purified air at the front of the vehicle. According to studies conducted by the filters manufacturer, the bus will clean the air on its route. They want, they want this pilot to show the buses should be able to be looked at as not the pollution to congestion in the cities but also as a solution to the air quality problem. The bus removes, removes ultra fine particles from the air as it travels along the route. It, it, it is helping solve the air quality problems of the city. And now back to the DC news. School of the week is always to make sure you pick up all of your garbage around campus and in the cafeteria, even if it's not yours. Staff member of the week is Mrs. Hunt. Her favorite food is fifth, er, chips and guacamole. She has five children, two boys, three girls, and a black poodle. Her favorite superhero is Captain Marvel for her strength, endurance, sixth sense, and she can fly. Her favorite movie is Mamma Mia 2, and when she's not at school, she is spending time with her family, friends, hiking, teaching, aerial yoga, and doing laundry. Habit of the week is habit to know before you do it. This, or you can show this when you have a plan, set goals, you be important to your class, and show your work is important. Um, the ones who say you can't and you won't are probably the ones that are scared you will. Bye!